Hello everyone, let's take a look at how we can use interpolation to get the data that we want when we need to work with property tables in thermodynamics. This process can work for any other class as well when you need to work with uh, tables and need to get data from them. But this video is specifically for thermodynamics. At the end of textbooks, usually we have several tables that are available to us. For these examples, I'm going to pick the saturated refrigerant R134A pressure table. First example, they want us to find the saturation temperature for P equaling 300. If we take a look in the original table, we can see that there is no data given at the P equal 300. So this is where interpolation is going to come into play and it's going to help us calculate the properties that we are missing. We're going to write up a formula and then we're going to plug in and actually calculate it. So my, our original table and if you uh, take a look we can see that uh, we're only going to need to worry about this and this, the two red ones, right? All these other properties we will not need them for this example. So the only properties that I'm going to work with is the one surround these two red values. I'm going to copy them out and make myself a more smaller mini table. And for now, just le let's leave them as variables so it can help us uh, show a formula. Now, there you go. The X is my unknown. This is the formula that we set up and we solve for X. And this is how we get the property that we have missing. Another mini table, this time with the actual values copied out of the table. We can go ahead and plug into X. And there you have it. We can find that the T set at 300 is 0 0.605. Data was not given, but we calculated it with interpolation. Now let's take a look at another. And this time they want us to find P at HF equaling 51. HF is right here at the end. It's enthalpy. Right here and it's given right here. So this time we can see again there's a bunch of properties uh, that we could find. right? But we are only interested in this and this. So the I'm going to make myself again a small mini table and this time I'm going to use the numbers, the values that surround this value and same here, the values that surround this value. I'm going to use variables for now. This way I can set up a nice formula that we can maybe remember for later. Here's my x, the unknown. You can tell that this time the x is on the left hand side. Last time it was on the right hand side. If you want, you can work yourself out a nice formula ahead of time and therefore you don't have to waste your time calculating all the time this. So X is here, my other mini table with the actual values from here and here. Plug in from here, down here, and we can see that the P value that was not given for this enthalpy is 286.75. Now, this is quite uh, cumbersome, takes a while to do every time, and especially if you have a lot of homework that you have to do this over and over. Well, my suggestion is this. Take these formulas, set them up in an Excel sheet, and there you have it. Every time you need it, you just come, plug in the values from the tables, and bam, it'll give you right away your nice little values that you're looking for much faster and easier. Or if you want to be even fancier, make a MATLAB code. It will help you as well. Alright, that's uh, it for this problem. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.